guys! Welcome back to another vlog. Yes, medyo tuloy-tuloy na po tayo this year. Unlike last year na nag-stop ako sa August. Pero, this year, we'll try to really upload um, consistently. So, today, we're going to be talking about a topic that the Lord has spoke to me about. Sabi niya, talk about this. <laughs> Actually, yun lang naman. So, sabi niya, uh, let's talk about legal legalism. So, this is the introduction. So, growing up, I always had a knack at questioning things or being critical. So, I was always critical about things. I was always thinking about things. Na bakit ganito? Bakit ganyan? So, um, I just don't take things as they are. So, there needed to be some sort of justification for me to accept things na kailangan may reasoning na ah, bakit nila ginagawa yun? So, kung, kung ganito yung reason gets, I, I find it acceptable, I do it. Parang, I, hindi ako yung parang na, nalalamon na lang, nilalamon na lang ng culture na porket ganito, ganito na, ganon. Ako palagi akong, ah, bakit ganon? Parang ganon. So, and I am not someone who accepts things the right way. Things right away, I mean. Things, principles, ideas need to be tried and tested first before I put my full weight on them or actually believe them. With this, I've come to really accept something. If God himself said it to be true. So, only when God says na parang, ah, this is it, get it. Parang, ah, okay, okay. Nung naging believer na ako, of course, kasi parang narealize ko na, ah, nga, totoo pala si God, ganon. By the way, if yung mga tao dyan, yung mga hindi nakakaalam, atheist ako before, ayun, so na-reach out ako ng 11 years old. So, yun, nung time na yun, hindi ko pa alam kung ano yung atheist agnostic. Alam ko lang na hindi ako naniniwala kay God. And then, na-encounter ko si God. Okay, no, no joke kasi. Anyways, so, um, I recently come across a friend who confided to me about having negative experiences experiences sa kanyang church or community. Mind you, this was a Christian church, but it still caused heavy hurts for its members instead of being a safe haven. So I believe it's no accident that that person actually talked to me about it and opened up to me about it. Because this person used to be a leader sa church, used to be a very in prophetic, spirit-led gano. Now, parang naglalaylo siya dahil nga sa, sa mga experiences niya. So, I believe um, may connection itong isasabihin ko dun sa experience niya na sana ma-alleviate or whatever. Pero, I, I believe it's parang may, may connection siya sa pagiging legalistic. Kaya, naging ganun yung um, nangyari sa kanya. So, Yun nga, I believe God wanted to release this teaching for a reason. So, without further ado, let's go to the main text. So, our main text for today, or verse for today, is Matthew 5.20. Sabi dun, For I tell you, unless your righteousness exceeds that of the scribes and Pharisees, you'll never enter the kingdom of heaven. So, later on, we're, we're going to go about who the scribes and Pharisees are talaga. Pero, um, I just wanted to share this impression na, I, ito yung sabi sa notes ko, I strongly believe that the scribes and Pharisees of the modern world are those who uphold society's version of righteousness instead of God's firm definition of righteousness. Such scribes and Pharisees are subject to legalism or better known as excessive adherence to law or the phenomenon of depending on moral law rather than the liberating component of the gospel. Truth is, choosing legalism over God's absolute reality is like choosing men's tradition and wisdom rather than God's truth and wisdom. So, um, actually, parang hindi ko na nalagay talaga dito kung ano yung, yung scribes and Pharisees. Pero actually, they're, um, parang connected talaga sila sa phenomenon of legalism. Kasi, kasi yung mga scribes and Pharisees before, they were the ones who are very strict on rules, on laws, rather than, alam mo yun, yung righteousness talaga sa sabi ni Lord. Although, nung time na yun kasi, parang, yun nga, ang pinafollow nila is yung, yung ano ni Moses and Paul. Pero ang nagiging nangyayari na is, um, uh, ano ba yun? Rules, I mean, man for rules, not rules for man. Gets ba? Actually, yun yung na-pick up ko dun sa um, preaching yesterday. Um, sa discipleship meeting. 
anyway, so all the more Matthew 23, 13 to 36 further revealed what the Bible says about spiritual hypocrisy. So makikita mo dyan yung ano ba talaga yung sasabi ni Lord about spiritual hypocrisy na at the end of the day, there is actually really something wrong about being legalistic, about being scribes and being Pharisees. ba? Yun nga yung sabi ni Lord na unless your righteousness exceeds that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. And for ano, just to keep this vlog light, I'm not going to go deep or like very formal on um, who are scribes and Pharisees. But maybe I can share a link to a blog or para a uh, Bible-based blog na I found na who na nagsasabi ng ng nag elaborate ng Matthew 23, 13, 36. Anyway, so in short, we can see here that being religious doesn't really equate to being godly for there is a difference. So, di ba sa culture natin, parang, ah, pag religious ka, holy-holy ka na. Pero, um, sinabi clearly sa Bible na there is actually a difference. Actually, mayroon din definition doon of what true religion means. So, you can just research that on your own. Um, or I can flash it, the verse here, kung ano ba talaga yung true religion. Okay. So, God advocates for a life based on true, authentic faith. And for one to be a true, true Christian, one must first be true. So actually, parang, while I was writing this, ano, this script, ang weird lang kasi, parang wala akong in mind. Sabi ko, Lord, I don't want it to be, ano, to be so formal. And the Lord just reminded this verse to me kasi, ito actually yung mga natutunan ko over the years. And when I was reading, it popped out to sa akin. So it it says in Philippians 4, 8, Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Okay. So ang highlight ko dun is habang binabasa ko to one time, sabi, Finally, brothers, whatever is true, Nung sabi ko parang, nauna yung true. Sabi ko parang, ewan ko sa inyo ha, pero naturally kasi, when you read something, kung ano yung nauna, yun yung pinaka-highlighted. Hindi ba? Parang like for example, magbabasa ka ng paragraph. Yung may, yung, ganun din, na may characters na parang, this person is beautiful, ganun. Tapos, um, she has ganito, ganun. Parang alam mo yung, kung ano yung nauna, yun yung na-highlight. Yun yung hina-highlight niya. And I believe na yun dapat yung order to things. Whatever is true, first. Whatever is honorable, second. Ganun. And parang nang nakita ko yun, oo nga no, na parang, parang, is it God actually after our genuineness? Na, is it God after us being authentic first rather than imposing to us rules na wala namang, alam, wala namang bearing talaga nasa, di ba, in-advocate niya, nag-advocate siya against the scribes and the Pharisees. And parang, oo nga, no? Ganun. So actually, I have, I can link a, a vlog that I did on authenticity. It's one of the first vlogs I did. I'm going to um, ask my editor to link to show here, wherever, sa screen. Okay. Ah, uh, yun nga. Yun yung sinasabi ko. Uh, so, a lot of us believe that when we do this or be like this first, God can love us. Like, for example, ah, pag magsisimba lang ako, kumplituhan ko lang tong Sundays na to or whatever, God will actually, God will actually love me more and hear my cries, hear my prayer. And then, yun nga. So, or may mga times na iniisip natin pag, ah, pag umatid ako ng Sunday, every Sunday, true Christian na ako. As kasi, based on works eh, diba? but know this God is not intimidated by the darkness inside of you for how can something be dealt or resolved healthily if it's not acknowledged usually kasi ang ginagawa natin tinatakpan natin yung mga pagkakamalan kapag kakamali natin by doing things that we think justifies those things meaning like for example ah um nag-cheat ako today sige bawi na lang ako bukas <laughs> ganon but we cannot do we cannot do that. Our sins cannot be justified by us ourselves. Kaya nga Jesus Christ died on the cross for us, di ba? Kasi siya lang yung pwedeng mag-atone. Siya lang yung pwedeng mag, mag, alam mo yun, mag-forgive mag ng sins. So, 
Yan. God, pero ito ko sinasabi ko, God wants to heal you in connection to dun sa whatever is to do. Na Philippians 4.8. God wants to heal you. And I believe we as the church are called to attend to that and steward that truth while going for God's actual will for people's, people's life. So parang, I'm talking to the church here. Kasi at the end of the day, I know a lot of people who are very, paano ba yan? Who disciple with their own strength. Or, syempre, well, there is grace also. Pero, I want to call for everyone to mature also. Na at the end of the day, we are called to look like Christ. And a part of looking like Christ is being unconditional in terms of how we love people. In terms of how we disciple people. Na, alam mo yun, na, ang dami ko naririnig sa church na parang, alam mo yun, parang, nakita niya na yung baho nitong taong to, kaya hindi na, parang, parang narinig ko, parang love story yata. May mga love stories sa church na hindi natutuloy kasi narinig, narinig niya yung baho niya or whatever. Parang ako, ha, hindi ba natural? <laughs> hindi ba talagang may baho talaga ang tao? Parang ganun na, at the end of the day, parang if God called you with for that person, it's a calling. It's not something, parang alam mo yun, it, of course you have a free will, pero God's word still stands. Gets ba? So parang, alam mo yun, parang may purpose naman eh when God calls for it. And hindi, hindi siya dapat na parang, alam mo yun, we have to be better than this. <laughs> yun lang parang, yun yung two cents ko, na we have to be better people, we have to be better stewards of the truth. You know? And yun. So, um, yun ang sinasabi ko, na, yun nga, um, the mature should bear with the failings of the weak. Parang ganun. Na at the end of the day, not every one of us, kahit na all of us are leaders or not all of us are um, at this level or not all of us are churchgoers. Not, I mean, hindi ibig sabihin na lahat tayo are churchgoers or active sa church or whatever. It's para para sa yung spiritual maturity. And sinabi sa Bible na we have to bear with the failings of the weak. Alam mo yun? So, yun yun. Ang sinasabi ko. Okay. So at the end of the day, our salvation is absolutely not reliant on what we do or who we are. According to Ephesians 2, 8 to 9, we have to hold fast to the supplement of that verse. In 2 Corinthians 5, 21, God made him, Jesus, who had no sin to be sin for us, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. So God's finished work on the cross was the only possible way for us to be reconciled to God. And by accepting Him as our Lord and Savior, we can actually be considered righteous before God because of this, the justification provided by Jesus. So it's only because of the finished work of Jesus, of God on that cross. So am I actually encouraging you to deviate from the teaching of the Bible or Jesus? Diba? Actually, may mga thought na gano'n na parang, okay, sinasabi mo yan, pero all along, ito kasi yung na-impose sa amin eh. I don't know your background. I'm not saying na itong religion, itong religion or whatever, kasi I don't wanna be bashed, to be honest. Pero I'm trying to be politically correct. <laughs> no, I'm trying to be objective as much as possible. Um, pero, it's clearly stated eh, in the Bible na ito yung truth in 2 Corinthians 5.21. Pero, I'm not saying na you should um, relax relax yung other commands ni Jesus sa Bible. Diba? Sabi, according to um, the Holy Spirit through Paul, I think this is Paul, ba? according to one of the writers, in Ephesians 4, 1 to 3, sabi niya, I therefore, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to walk in a manner worthy of the calling to which you have been called, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love, eager to maintain the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. So, yun, meron pa rin eh. And it's part of it. Kaya, kaya, kaya ko sinabi yung mga previous na sinabi ko. Kasi, this, parang alam mo yun, it checks out with this. So, but going back to our main verse, Matthew 5.20. So, um, for I tell you, unless your righteousness exceeds that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. We have to actively take God's word as the ultimate standard. God's word. 
this means that although there are non-negotiables in the Bible, yung non-negotiables, yung talagang firm, ganon, there are also things that are debated over. There are things na wala namang clear na sinabi talaga, whether you put it in skin and TAD search mo, wala talaga. So, um, according to our local pastor, which is gusto ko lang talagang i-acknowledge, um, as our local pastor said, for things that the Bible is absolutely clear about, we should regard it firmly. We should view it firmly and we should respect it accordingly. But on things that can be considered quite fluid, we should extend grace. And I believe that is quite biblical. According to James 4.17, talagang, ang galing, kasi si Lord na talaga to nag-speak kanina. Um, sabi niya, So whoever knows the right thing to do and fails to do it, for him it is sin. So, get, nagigets mo ba na parang, yun nga, na, there, na may mga bagay talaga, like for example, na God is gracious in that regard. Na hindi niya naman, iya yeah, ano sa tao na, por, parang kung hindi yun yung conviction na binigay ni Lord sa'yo, wag mong akuin. Parang gets, kasi may mga things kasi na, like for example, ang conviction niya is ganito, ganyan, dun, na dapat naka, ano lang siya, naka, ang tawag, naka, palda lang siya, ng mahaba, pagpupunta ng church. Kung conviction niya yun, kung yung binigay ni Lord sa kanya, if the person, if the Lord spoke to that person na ganun dapat, don't mind him, ganun, na parang, di ba, parang, yun din, na parang sinasabi din ni Lord na parang, di ba, if, if, if you cause, if, is if your conviction or something that you believe in cause your your other brother to sin, adjust uh, accordingly. It's about loving that person also, de ba? Pero yun nga with this verse, parang sinasabi niya na we can all actually have different convictions. Alam mo yon? We can actually have different convictions. We can all actually have iba iba yung mga sinasabi ni Lord sa atin sometimes. Eh. Sometimes God has called this person sa music ministry, yung isa sa tech, yung isa, and parang may kanya-kanyang according, ano na yun. Diba? And yun din yun yung sinasabi ko, na at the end of the day, parang it, it's between you and God. Gets ba? Na, yun yung naano ko eh, na nalaman ko talaga, it's between you and the Lord. Whoever knows the right thing to do and fails to do it, for him it is sin. Na at the end of the day, what is the right thing for you? What is the Lord telling you that na tama, na is the right thing? Diba? And, yun eh, ang dami kasing opinion, ang daming opinion sa mundo. Actually, I can do a separate thing on this. I vlog in on this, pero tignan na lang natin if we're gonna be called on that. Pero, ang daming opinion, ganyan. Pero what is the Lord telling you? Yun yun eh. What is the Lord telling you? What is the, that right thing that the Lord is telling you? So, what I, what I love about God's Word is how magnificently it was written and how it speaks of God's design. So, Romans 14.21, which is, ipapasulat ko na lang sa aking editor. It is good not to eat meat or drink wine or do anything that causes your brother to stumble. Diba? So, in la, I just gonna put it out there. So, um, what I love about God's word is how magnificently it was written and how it speaks of God's design. For there are actually people in the form of leaders whom God has qualified to speak on His behalf and carry His instructions. So, if you're asking me, okay, then what about? So, who am I going to listen to? Ganon. Actually, parang. I can I can do a whole separate vlog for that <laughs> based on my experience. Pero ito lang yung sinabi ni Lord na sabihin ko. So Ephesians 4, 11 to 13. And he gave the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the shepherds, and teachers to equip to equip the saints for the work of ministry, for building up the body of Christ, until we all attain to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God, to mature manhood, to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. So, yun. May mga binigay talaga si Lord na tao to help us in our walk with Him. So, ang sinasabi ko is, um, alam mo yun, um, we respect all opinions. Ako, I respect all opinions. Kahit na may mga opinions na hindi tama. Pero, we have to filter in what we absorb. You know? We have to filter in what we absorb. Yung mga sinasabi na, ah, bawal yan, bawal ganito. At the end of the day, 
bawal for you maaari. Pero, dun sa tao, ano yung conviction na binigay ni Lord dun sa tao? Yun yun eh. Pero, at the end of the day, we have to, ano then relax. Uh, I mean, um, use godly discretion and wisdom. If if it causes for your brother to stumble, to sin, do not do it. Diba? Sabi niya sa Romans 14, 21, it is good not to eat meat, meat or drink wine or do anything that causes your brother to stumble. Diba? At the end of the day, if you're not moving from a place of love, diba? Aren't you sinning na rin? Yeah. So, yeah. So, the conclusion is, um, actually, I don't, yeah, okay. I don't think we're meant to be just robots, accepting everything and not being critical of what is being said to us. Because we have an option, we have an option to think, we have an option to reason, to rationalize. So, especially if it pertains to God, His words and His truths. I know for a fact that I really grew in my faith because God actually allowed me to think for myself while of course having a factual and firm biblical basis. Ako ha, personally, I just read a lot of Bible in my past. Kasi ako yung tipo ng tao na it's not, hindi, hindi, hindi parang kulang yung araw kapag di ako magbabasa ng Bible, kapag di ako nag-prepare, if I'm not tuning in with the Lord each and every day. And I just try to do it in a very um, disciplined manner. Lalo na if may pinapagawa si Lord, I try to align with Him all the time. And that's one of my two, two cents with you na for maturity, if you want to mature in your walk with God, in your if you want to grow in the Lord, you just do what He says and work with the Lord. Eh. Na, I'm not saying na just do it na you're not, you're not thinking, hey, I have, I mean, whatever is true, di ba? So I'm just I'm just I'm just, I'm just parang encouraging you. I'm encouraging you to just do what the Lord is telling you to do. Yun lang yun. Work with the Lord. And then later on, when you see na, ah, grabe, ito yung pinagdaanan ko. Pero grabe din yung growth ko as a person, as a disciple, even as a mom, as a, what, ano pa ba? Diba? So, in growth in all aspects. So, God is not intimidated by your questions. Ayan. For, in, for your increase, um, cannot actually invalidate His truth. So, let your questions lead to your growth. Let your questions lead you closer to Him. Not saying that He'll answer everything, but for sure, He'll respond for your good. Because He is good. Yeah. So, yun lang naman. Take things lightly and accordingly. Let's love God together. Bye! Hey, subscribe and like down below for more content that will make your heart content in the Lord. Let's love God together.